Hello everyone, welcome to Sysbird. If you are someone in the construction or manufacturing profession, for example, as a business owner or an employee who is interested in integrating ISO standards such as ISO 9001, ISO 14001 or ISO 45001, this is for you. I'm going to share five helpful tips to better prepare for integrating ISO standards so that you save time and resources down the line and your integration process becomes less painful. By the end of this presentation, you'll find out the followings. How to understand the management system concept based on some key elements. How to identify the gaps in business processes. How to know your strengths so that you can capitalize on it. How to know your weaknesses so that you can work on it. And how to start building the foundation of management system so that you are better prepared to integrate ISO systems such as ISO 9001, ISO 14001 or ISO 45001. Without further ado, let's start. Tip number one, understand the concept. If your organization is new to the standardized management system, it is quite likely that there will be some information gaps in this regard, especially with the conceptual understanding. You can minimize this gap by reviewing the key elements of popular management system standards such as ISO 9001. Here is the list of key elements in case if you are wondering what they are. However, in doing so, do not be overwhelmed by the intensive texts and jargons of the standard. At this stage, your goal is to understand the concept and the key elements of the standard at a higher level. Just keep it simple. Tip number two. Identify the gaps in business processes. Once you have understood the concept and reviewed the key elements, check if your business already has processes that are in line with the key elements. That is, if they are fulfilling the intent of the key elements. For example, let's say you're already doing weekly and quarterly team meetings to review general business and OHS issues. You can leverage this process when integrating certain parts of ISO 9001 or ISO 45001 standards. This is just one example. There could be other processes that a business is already practicing. For example, processes that are related to the monitoring of projects, inspection of products, or approval of service delivery activities. Make a list of all those processes that your organization currently has, as well as those it hasn't, against the key elements. Tip number three. Know your strength and capitalize on it. Once you have listed all the processes, leverage on what you have. You can do so by realizing the strength inside your own organization first before looking for an outward solution. As explained in the example under tip number two, there may already be an existing process in your business that is working absolutely fine. You don't need to reinvent the wheel in this case. You can continue using that process or if needed, modify it slightly to align it with the intent of the key elements. This realization is so powerful yet overlooked by many. Tip number four, know your weaknesses and work on it. Once you have leveraged what you have, start working on your weaknesses. Go back to the elements of the standard where you identify the gaps, check the requirements and start working on them. Tip number five, start building a foundation for integration. Unless there is an urgency, do not rush. Build your foundation step by step using your nominated ISO standard as a guide. You can do this simply by first establishing or formalizing a process for an activity of a business, practicing that process, then improving it. However, be mindful to relate the process you're working on to the key elements of the standard. This will help your organization to be within the framework of the management system. Repeat the above method to build a foundation based on your own internal strength, then evolve. You'll be surprised how much time and resources you can save down the track by doing this. So before we come to the end of this presentation, let's recap what you learned. You learned about five tips to better prepare when integrating ISO standards such as ISO 9001, ISO 14001 and ISO 45001. Tip number one was to understand the concept by reviewing the key elements. Tip number two was to identify the gaps in the business processes. Tip number three was to capitalize on your strength by leveraging what you have. Tip number four was to work on your weaknesses. And tip number five 
was to start building a foundation for integrating ISO standards. This is very important. In case if you want to save time, you can find a link to download a simple checklist with a list of key elements of the ISO 9001 standard at the end of this presentation. I hope you found this presentation useful. If you want to get more resources on management systems or ISO certification, you can do so by either emailing us or messaging us via LinkedIn. Do write to us if there is any specific topic you want us to cover next. We'll be coming up with further presentation and guidance in the coming days. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching this presentation.